Hi everyone, I'm Tintin57 and back today with a first look at the Harlem line which was recently released for Trains in World 2. So this came out on Thursday, the 17th. So we'll quick, a quick take a look at what uh, what we've got. Five chapters in the journey mode, various services and the scenarios are in there as well across the two locals that we've got. We're, EMUs, I should call them, to give them their proper names. Um, also, if we have a look in here, these are the five scenarios you can run these directly. So, Train to the Game, Peak Performance, Buds to the Big Apple, Snow, Globetrotters, Subway Series Direct, all various different uh, lengths. Uh, the M3A, we got 49 services and 214 services for the M7A, which is the newer of the two DMUs. But I'm going to pick one out of the journey mode, which is the southeast to Grand Central Terminal, because this one is an express service, so we've not got as many stops on this one, so it's a good one to have a quick look at. So we're starting off at North White Plains. So we're in the M3A for this run, which is the older of the two. Just need to charge the brakes. Get everything set up. So this is this is really a first look. I did the training modules, which you've probably seen on the channel, but that's all I've done. I haven't done any any kind of run on this uh, on this line yet, so this will be a first. So I'm just re-familiarising myself with uh, where all the lights are. Got several buttons for lights there. The marker lights are around here, so I need to turn those off. Is it there? Let's have a look. Yeah. So that's okay. Uh, wait until 7.19. Let's just put on the safety systems. So we've got the ATC, the ACES, and we'll put the alerts on as well. And there is a train leaving before us. So let's get the doors closed. It's a nice livery as well. Put some power in. So we've got three minutes to the first stop. So the safety systems are on, so we'll talk a little bit more about this, I'm sure, as we uh, as we carry on. But um, these do require some skill. Right now, we're clear up to 50, but we have got an L. You see the L down there in the hood, in the bottom, which means limited. So which means the maximum we can do under an L is 45 miles an hour. So there's the line speed, we can see at the top we are coming up to a 35. It's now just changed to a 50 down the bottom, so we're okay up to 50. And we got limited again, which is 45. So that suggests there is something in front of us. So there's the line speed that every driver knows. Uh, and then there is this, this system where we'll get an L for 45. Or we could get an M for medium, which is 30 miles per hour. Or we could get an R, which is restricted, which is 15 miles per hour. So if there's nothing in front of us, we'll just use the ACES and the line speed, which is similar to what we do on Long Island Railway, if you've played that one before. Got a 35 coming up, just bear that in mind. We're, we're okay where we are just now. And this is White Plains. As is the custom on this line, we just need to toot the horn before we come into the station, so I probably won't do that for every station. Although we should, if we were doing it properly. That's the alerter. 
Now, I'm not very used to how this M3A stops. I'm assuming it's the same as the M3 on uh, Long Island, but it's been a while since I've driven that due to the PS5 issue on the, the 64 gig limit. Unfortunately, Long Island Railroad was one of those that had to be removed so I could play other stuff. So let's just bring it in gently as we go. We may be going a little bit too fast here. We might overshoot slightly. Yeah, we probably just just missed the first though. But um, we'll get used to that as we carry on through this run. So. My first thoughts of this as I'm looking around, I think actually these stations have done very well. It seems quiet. I'm led to believe there are sort of rush hour level passengers on this route, but um, it's 7.22 in the morning in New York. You would think it would be pretty busy. But so far there's not a lot of people on the platform, there's not a lot of people on the train actually. But we'll see if that picks up as we get, you know, more towards the centre of New York and Grand Central Station. Let's get the doors closed. The scenery's pretty good. Certainly at this end of the route. So as we're an express service, Harlem 125th Street is the next stop. And that's actually 18 miles, so we get to give this a good run now. bring it up to speed. We're okay for 35 at the moment. There's plenty of traffic so far. We might be lacking people but we've got plenty of traffic so far which is which is good to see. So we're still in the 35 zone until the back of the train clears and then we'll be able to go up to 65 so we can put some power on so when this was first announced if you saw my news video about a week ago I watched the preview stream and I wondered if this was very similar to Long Island Railroad but actually looking at this now, it, it does, even though the rolling stock are the same, pretty much the same, they're actually a, a newer versions of the Long Island Railroad stock, but it does have a, a it does have a definite different feel to it than Long Island Railroad. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's a little bit more leafy, maybe it's the scenery that I'm looking at so far. Long Island Rail Railroad is very uh, very cityfied, let's say. This part of the route is very, very rural, uh, but we will be coming into New York, and so I think once actually we, we reach Harlem 125th Street, you should start to see New York City loom ahead. Uh, just keeping an eye on the, uh, the speeds. We've got the limited sign again, I need to get down to 45. So, um, when that L comes up, if you acknowledge it and start to brake, you can see there on the left, just under the, the speedometer, um, there is a BA light. And when that lights up green, that means you are decreasing your speed enough to satisfy the safety systems. So it, it's not going to give you an emergency break. So there is a little bit more to driving these than there is on Long Island, and I shouldn't keep, I shouldn't really keep comparing it to Long Island. It's its own route in itself, and it's got its own merits. But so far, I'm, I'm quite liking this one. I've noticed on the forums and in the chat from the streams, um, obviously these routes are not cheap 
to buy and this has been released on Thursday and next Thursday there is the new Swiss route from Rivet Games which also gets released and a lot of players are interested in that one as well but of course some are trying to decide should they buy this one or buy the Swiss route because you know it, it is quite expensive to buy both I, I saw the stream last night for the Swiss route I wasn't overly impressed with that compared to this one so certainly in my own case this this would be my choice over the two if I was making that decision just got restricted so we need to be down to 15 incidentally if you do get it restricted and you go down to 15 even though 15 is the limit there is still a chance that there could be something ahead on the track and you have just to rely on your own site for that there won't be a red signal for that which has caught a few people out looking at the forums so we've got an M for medium so we can speed up to 30 so there's definitely something in front of us now we can speed up to 45 the alerter down to 30 again so there's definitely something somewhere so we looked at the beginning at what's included um, there are quite a number of services There are some of those services as well. They're not. They're not all just A to B. Some of those services um, work from the yards on the route, which is quite nice. So there is some variety. But this one should keep you busy for quite a while. If if this is your type of thing, if these commuter routes are your type of thing, then you will really enjoy this one. I would say. Still got a forty-five limited. up to 65 let's just see if it's gonna restrict us again we'll, we'll speed up for now still got 14 miles to go there is a chance that whatever it is in front of us will will move out of the way This actually is a route that I have travelled on once, uh, probably about 20 years ago when I was in New York. And I took a train out on this line from uh, Grand Central up to Hartsdale. So it was actually a nice surprise when this came out. I can't claim to have been on many trains outside of the UK. But this one, I've definitely been on. So, at some point, I intend to jump out at Hartsdale and just have a look and uh, see what I remember of the station, see how close it is. I remember there was a Starbucks right on the station, which was nice. As we get passed by an M7. So I'm quite liking this so far, uh, this is the first run, I haven't seen much of it yet, but I'm liking it so far. Let me know down below what you think of this, if you've picked it up, or you will be picking it up. Um, for all those who are interested for PlayStation, Xbox and PC, there are also achievements for this, or trophies. 
there's a few more passengers there as we pass through. And this, this on the right hand side could be the train that was holding us up. It's an M7, so that could have been holding us up. We may get a pretty clear run now down to Harlem. So we're cleared right now to 60. We've got a 55 coming up, but it's just under a mile and a half to the 55. Not sure right now what the maximum speed is on this line. Need to play a bit more to, uh, to find that out. But this, this is a very pleasant run actually. So far the visuals are quite good. The train itself seems to be performing as it should. Not sure if these are different sounds uh, to those for the M3 on Long Island. I would suspect that the sounds have just rolled over from Long Island unless they've been on some special trip to actually uh, record these differently. So we've got that 55 coming up, so I will just leave it where we are now. So we don't get tripped up. We are on a, a downhill right now, and we've got 10 miles until we reach 125th Street. This is quite a good run to do as a first look. It's always nice to get a feel for the route length and just get a good, a good sort of balanced overview of the visuals for the whole route. There are a lot of trees uh, either side of the track and again, you know, I, from the one trip that I've made I don't remember if that is true to life or not. I'm sure once we get to the city We'll start to see more buildings, but this this area seems to be very woody. In fact, they start they're just starting to break up now as we as we uh, get within nine miles of Harlem. So. I know a lot of people are on the fence, so I'm hoping this video and others that, that are on YouTube right now will help you make your mind up. And I think if you're from this local area, or, or even if you're in the US, there haven't been that many US passenger routes to speak of yet. So I expect that you guys will be snapping this up if you haven't done already. In fact, just thinking about it, what what have we had from the US so far regards as regards passengers? Because the majority of the routes seem to be freight routes. I think there's only been there's been Long Island and of course Boston Sprinter. I think those are the only two prior to this one in Trains in World Two. We did have Northeast Corridor in the original Trains in, which unfortunately didn't get carried over once Train Sim World 2 came out, that, that wasn't, you know, that wasn't a bad route, to be honest. I think it needed too much rework to be able to bring it into TSW2, it would have required a, a complete redesign, which is why it wasn't brought over. Which was a shame, but it's understandable.
got 75 coming up. So I'm not sure why the US routes tend to be freight, because we've also got Horseshoe Curve coming up. Probably very soon, I would say. Being as you can see it on, uh, if you look quickly on the DTG streams, you can see it very quickly flash up on Matt's uh, Matt's version. In the menu there, he's got it selectable, so it is there is a version of it in the hands of Dovetail. US, US freight stuff is quite good, but it's quite long. It's generally not something you can just hop onto for half an hour if you've got a spare half hour. Whereas these these type of routes, um, you can do that if, you, if you're strapped for time. And the good thing is now, of course, back in the timetable mode, it will tell you exactly how long each service is, which was a nice improvement that they put in recently. So we've got six miles. Six miles and we only have to be there at 7.51, so we've got another, what, 12, 13 minutes to do six miles, so we may arrive there quite early and we've not been held up again so it must have been that train that we passed that was that was holding us up so that's another good thing that's started to happen in train sim world 2 you know things like that have been introduced where things are blocking the line and we need to wait to get around rather than it being the straight a to b I think that can only improve. So we're just five miles from Harlem right now. track noise but there isn't a lot of track noise you just hear it coming through the headphones we are on a very straight piece of track I don't know whether or not it's jointed rail or it's continuously welded so there will be a bit less noise if it is A lot of wind, a lot of wind noise, not a lot of uh, track noise, so I'll keep an eye on that when I play some of the services where you actually enter service from the yards because I expect we'll be going across a few points as we're doing that, so it, there shouldn't be track noise with that. So we're okay for 75 just now, but we are going down to 60. But I would expect the safety systems to start kicking in and starting to slow us down as we approach Harlem. So we may well get the limited in the hood to bring us down to 45 in the first instance. Still got ten minutes, so we must. Uh, it's very generous. It seems very generous on the uh, on the arrival times. Now it could be just this service, and it could also be, you know, when we pass the slow train. If we were slower setting off, we may not have passed that train at a convenient point, so we may have needed the extra minutes. So I guess it depends how you play it. But 
we're certainly going to be early, I would say that. So there's the Limited, so we need to get down to 45. So there's the BA light, just on the, the speedometer that I was talking about. That's gone green. So it's telling me that my rate of speed was fine. Uh, saying that, I seem to have been emergency brake. I don't know what I did there, actually. I'll look back at that one, but if you spotted anything, let me know in the comments. So let's just reset. I presume I need to recharge the brakes, seeing as we had an emergency brake, but... No, the brakes are fully charged. Okay, so that's right. Okay, so that's letting us go again. That's un unusual. Maybe I'm not that familiar with it. I thought after emergency stop we would have to charge the brakes again. Yeah, so I didn't see what I did there. Um, I was just busy telling you guys that my rate of uh, of braking was satisfying the, the the safety systems, and then I got an emergency brake. So I will check that one out and just see what I did. It's probably it's probably me. It's probably driver error. That's what happens when you're uh, talking and driving. So there's a medium. So we need to be down to thirty. thing that has improved over the course of this game's development is is the insides of tunnels. The old NEC route tunnels in the first game were pretty awful to be honest. You'd go down the tunnel and see in the distance just a white light which halfway down the tunnel would then change back to tunnel again. I presume it was loading in actual tunnel scenery at that point but but that happened on a couple of routes that happened on Long Island actually at the beginning and then that seemed to have got sorted out and now on this route they seem to look pretty good so we've still got a medium so 30 is the most that we can go up to but we are nearly at Harlem. A few minutes to spare, as we predicted. So I think we should start to see the city as we come into Harlem. So I remember these two buildings from the Dovetail Streams. I think we've got the bridges over the Harlem River just around this bend and then you should see the, the buildings for the city so there was some we went over that junction there there was there was actually some track noise in there again So there's the city ahead of us. Actually, would make a good thumbnail for this video. Try and line up the best shot. So you can see the, the level of detail here. This is on PS5, of course. So on the old generation consoles, I'm not sure what the draw distance will be like, but certainly on the PS5, that looks a really good level of detail. And you can immediately contrast this level of detail as you're coming into the city with what it was like when we started at White Plains. 
two definite different sections to this route, which is nice to see. One, one's very much out of town. And now as we get to this point, you can you can tell we are coming into into the city. Okay for 40 just now. Actually 35 until we clear the back of the train, then we're 40, but we'll just we'll just roll it into Harlem. Got plenty of time. So again, there's not a lot of passengers here waiting to go uh, on this service. You know, at nearly nearly 10 to 8. So close to New York City. There's a few, unless unless they only just start to spawn. You know, the the, the trigger for spawning is is just as we enter the station. We'll see if we'll see if it builds up because we've got a couple of minutes. We'll see if more passengers start to uh, to walk on the platform. But I guess as we're, we're going to be here for a while, we may as well, yeah, we've got to wait until 7.52, so I think we might get up and have a, a quick walk around Harlem. First of all, let's have a look. I mean, these weathered seats are a nice effect because this is an older train and uh, you would imagine on this route Despite what we can see here, the many many passengers are using this route every single day. So I mean, they're gonna look, they're gonna look a little bit worn. Ticket machines, a nice touch. There's a poster collectible. It's 25 euros on the route if that's your thing. I do like collecting them actually. There's usually trophies associated with uh, collecting those as well, so I do tend to to go for those. The trains themselves are very shiny. I don't know if that's true to life. Unless they're cleaned every evening, that's a possibility. Let's have a look down the street. There's some road traffic, but it's not it's not overly busy. Let's have a look downstairs. Now this is quite nice. So you can get down to street level. I don't know how far we can walk around down here. But the PIS systems are also down here. So you can look at where your train is before you make your way upstairs. That's quite nicely done. I do like that. I don't know if we've got any other collectibles just on this side. I know there is one for picking up recycling, but uh, no, we don't want to do that. Don't seem to see any of those. So I think we'll make our way back because we've got just over a minute until we need to leave, so let's get ready to go. Clean up the brakes so that we're ready. So there's New York City. I don't think we've got any stops in between. I think we're straight to Grand Central after this. Oh, so there's the thing. So the stop markers, you see how much platform we've got left? The back end of this train is sticking right out there. 
but I was right on the stop markers so the, some of these stop markers must be a bit a little bit dubious I have to remember that if you don't stop on the stop marker you get less points so I tend to stop I do, I do stop on the stop markers but you can see that it would have been better if I'd have drawn right forward that's why passengers coming out and uh, falling on the tracks we don't want that so let's get the doors closed because we're about to depart So our next stop is Grand Central Station, track 42, and it's 4.1 miles, and again we've got like you know, 13 minutes to do this, so I'm assuming we're going to have some kind of speed restrictions once we get into the underground section at Grand Central. I don't know what this is under the rails. Um, I'm assuming it's not meant to be ballast. It doesn't look like ballast. It looks pretty flat. So maybe because we're on this race section, they don't they don't use ballast. They use something else. But certainly, it's all one colour. It doesn't look like ballast at all. But yeah, I, li I like it actually, I do like this. I can see myself playing this quite a bit. Especially with the so many services. What I usually do, the way I usually do it is... I do usually go through journey mode. These days. But I tend to do the scenarios first. So I pick the scenarios out of the journey mode rather than doing them directly from the menu in the scenario menu. Um, and then once I've done the scenarios, because the scenarios are good for giving you a, an all-round sort of taste of, of what's going on. And generally, the scenarios will cover all the different types of operations you'll do in a certain route. So I'll do those first, then I'll start and go back and do um, all the services from the top in the journey mode. Uh, but for the sake of this first look, I knew that this one was an express route, so I decided to do this one first. This tunnel again looks good. You can even see the brickwork there in the tunnel. So there's been a, a really nice attention to detail here with this. And I said in my news video a week or so ago that after watching the DTG stream, I, don't, I wasn't I wasn't too sure about this one. I wasn't sure how samey it would be to Long Island. But if you if you sat watching this and you're thinking, oh yeah, you know, you could be right. It could be it could be very similar to Long Island. It actually isn't. It it, it is. It does feel like a completely separate thing. And I know it's two different areas. But it's the same. It's the same trains, which is you know something that could make it feel very similar. But it, it, it doesn't. It does feel quite different. Now keeping an eye on the signals again. We've got a we've got a ten coming up, so the safety systems are giving us the limited forty-five. It will kick us down to a medium, I expect, quite quickly for thirty. Then we'll be down to the fifteen before we hit that ten. There's the medium for 30 miles an hour. Grand Central Station's absolutely massive. I mean, we're coming in here at track 42. I don't know how many tracks actually it's got. But it's called Grand for a reason. And the other thing I alluded to in the news video was that it's it's a pity that the actual
concourse at Grand Central wasn't modelled. But I guess, you know, if you've been to Grand Central and you've seen that concourse, you know just how nice it looks and how detailed it is. Um, I imagine that would have took a lot of development time, which was probably better spent on the actual elements of the route and the playability rather than, you know, the actual Grand Central Station itself, but it would have been a nice touch if that one had been, if that had been modelled. But I guess it depends how you play the game. You know, if you're here just to just to drive the trains, you wouldn't you wouldn't really go up there to that uh, to Grand Central main main concourse. I do like to get out and walk around a little bit and have a look around, and that, that's why I think the collectibles are actually. You know, a pretty good idea. You can you can take them or leave them. You don't need to collect them. But if you want to get a good view of the route, then the collectibles are always a good starting point. And as you're walking around, picking up the collectibles, it's funny. We, the next time you drive through a certain area, you remember they've been there on foot. So it does it does help you get a feel for the route in a different way. So I'm quite pleased they've got those in. So right now we are in restricted mode, which as I mentioned at the beginning means that um, it's a 15 miles an hour, although the, the line speed right now is 10, so 10 is our maximum, because we always take the lower of the two, of course. But when you're in restricted, it could mean somebody is in front of you still, so you do need to still use your eyes and be prepared to stop. So that part of the safety system is is something new to Train Sim World and, and this route. But it does, does add that extra bit of complexity to it. So it's good to have a lot of people I've seen on the forums are running without the safety systems on or don't don't understand the, the lettering restrictions there in the hood. Uh, and on a couple of occasions I've seen they've said that they've run into the back of a train that's in front of them and I thought there was some kind of error with the signalling but it's just it's just learning those letters and what they mean it is in the tutorial but I know that a lot of players will skip the tutorials because they you know the tutorials can be very much alike especially with these two locals because people have done people have got Long Island will have done tutorials for these two locos well the very similar version of these two locos I don't I don't think that there's much differences apart from they look like they've been upgraded on the inside these ones some of the some of the uh, levers for and etc on the control desk there have, have changed Certainly the M3 for Long Island looked a little bit tatty on the inside, whereas this looks quite clean, so it suggests they've been recently upgraded, or they're kept in very good condition, certainly. So this is quite a slow run into the platform. But, safety first, of course. Tempting though it is, you wouldn't want to tear through here at any kind of speed. So I'm just feathering the throttle because we are on a uphill. So this is our platform, quite a long one, we've still got 350 yards to go. Hopefully the stop market for this one is further up the platform than we saw at Harlem, 
and hopefully we get the whole train in this one. If you're getting off at the back though, it's a long old walk to get firstly along this platform, then up the steps up to the concourse. And again, compared to real life, I don't remember whether this is a true representation of these uh, these platforms. You know, as regards the light, for example, I imagine they're very bright down here. But there's definitely just def well certainly on this service there is no rush hour level of passengers which I was led to believe it would be rush hour levels. certainly isn't right now. So we're pulling up just before the steps. So people can leave the train and get straight upstairs. It is a nice livery. It's a simple one, but it's it's very nice looking. I do like the metallic look of these trains as well. So we've got another couple of minutes to wait here. So we must be moving on. So this was our final stop. But actually, there are some in Grand Central, there are some storage sidings. So I suspect it's asking us to wait. We must, once we've unloaded everybody, all five of them, we'll be moving around to the storage sidings on the other side, so let's see. Quite a long train. Yeah, I think I think even with my lack of local knowledge, Grand Central should be much busier than this at eight o'clock. Although I do understand that everybody waits on the concourse above until the train's ready to go, and then everybody piles down on mass to the platform to get on the train. I think it's much more pleasant to to wait upstairs than it would be to wait down here in the tunnel. So what have we got? Just over 30 seconds. Let's see what it asks us to do. Let's get those doors locked. Yeah, so we are going to Grand Central Track 51. So here, so here we are. We're going to carry on. And we're going to take this curve. And we're going to go into one of the storage tracks. So you can see we snake all the way around the bottom and there's a set of tracks so we're on the most outer track which is 51 so i don't know whether i've answered my question or my own question where i was asking how many tracks run central has got maybe it is 51 or maybe this is just one level of grand central so maybe there's there's more than that i'd be interested to know
So we're still under restricted, but the track limit is 10 anyway. So we can't get up to that 15. So let's keep topping up the throttle. We've got just over 600 yards. We're just coming around the bottom of there now. And uh, should be able to run it right up to the buffers. And that will be us done. So, so my summary, I think, from the top is lots of services. The rolling stock is the same as Long Island, so there's there's nothing really new there. Although they do, um, they they certainly play the same. Although the look of the cabs is slightly different, slightly upgraded to those on on Long Island. Uh, level of scenarios is good. Plenty to do there. And then on the route itself, I found the route to be, um, you know, very pleasing on the eye. I think what they need to do is is have a look at the passengers. There's definitely something wrong with the passengers. There's, it's, it's not rush hour levels. And if you were ever going to have lots of passengers on any of these routes we've got in Transit World, then certainly something that's based in and around New York should should certainly have the most passengers. So that needs looking at. But the route itself, I actually quite like the route. I think there's, you know, it's a very nice transition between, depending on which way you're going, from, you know, sort of rural New York area, and and the way it builds up, and you come into the city and into Grand Central itself. That's quite good, especially on especially on PS5 with the way that you can see the the sort of cityscape when you come around that corner. To, to just come into Harlem Station, you see the, the city in the distance, that's a really nice touch. So all in all, I think this is actually, you know, this is actually turned out to be quite a good release for DTG, so we never really get to find out how popular these are. Uh, I guess the measure of it will be, you know, how, how soon will it appear in a sale? And I'm thinking Sherman Hill, because Sherman Hill seemed to come up in the sale very very quickly which was a bit a bit strange um, but I think this one will probably do well because there hasn't been one of these in the US for a long time so that in itself will make it fairly popular so you guys let me know what you think have you already picked this up have you been playing this what do you think of it do you kind of agree with my my summary there are you going to pick it up have you been sort of on the fence and uh Wondering whether to go for it or not? Let me know down below. I would really appreciate that. And that is it for us. So it took us 51, just over 51 minutes, 24 miles. And uh, that was a really good run. And we got a gold medal. We can't say further than that. So that's it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't done already. And uh, I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.